Hey y'all, welcome to today's episode of My and Sam on the Phone. Quick PSA before we start, there were some audio issues towards the beginning of the video, so if you hate that, you can skip to the five or six minute mark, um, and if you don't care, you can get right on into it. As always, we really appreciate y'all, and thank you very much for watching. Ha! I know what that means. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's really good that you know what it means. Yeah. Alright, My and Sam, episode like four or something. Hey girl, how you doing? We're not gonna do this hey thing. Hey girl, where are you going? Who's that girl? Who's that girl? It's Maya and Sam on the phone. And here we are for episode four. And I'm excited for today because I like did my facts for real. And like, you know, we think it'll pop like we usually do. How are you feeling today? I just feel like you should support me, you know what I mean, and like all my endeavors and like how I. Just We're not doing this thing where we start every episode with the song. That was a one-time thing. I feel like song just because you don't care about music doesn't mean that the world doesn't. So I feel like you should stop being a Debbie Downer bitch and get with the program. You should comment below if you like song. No one likes song. I feel like people like songs, so. And I like the way that we start the show. I like the way I start the show. I feel like you love it too. I'm happy. I'm happy for you. And it's really important to do that in these times. You know what I mean? You should do that. But anyways, I have my facts. So I have two today. And, you know, that's that's great. So I'm going to start. So one of my facts is that I started New Girl, obviously. And I love it. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to be obsessed with that. Probably making a lot of references to that. Just really into that show. Really into that show. I really like it. At first, I started watching it, and I was just like, this is just so, like, not for me. Like, this is very white and awkward, and I'm just just not for me. Literally, episode five, I was singing the theme song, like, word for word. Like Who's excited. that? Nah. Very Music is not a part of this podcast. Music is a part of this podcast. It's not. It's really a part it's of It's not. But anyways, the other fact is that, so... Oh, we have two facts yes, today? Yes, we have two. That's why. So I feel like our communication, let's talk about it. I feel like we need to work on that. It comes more. from me not paying attention. It really does. It does. I'm glad that you're taking accountability for that. I daydream a lot. And this is why we work. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not ashamed of it either. I accept you who you are. So you have two facts today? I have two facts. Ooh. Ooh. So the second fact, well, thing that I like discovered is like I was like on the internet and, you know, I'm obviously, like, Afro-Latino, whatever, whatever. But it was also, like, there's a difference between being Latino and Hispanic. Obviously, they're two different words, meaning two different things. Yes. And so, for, if you're Latino, um, it does not include Spain. And if you're Hispanic, it includes Spain. But if you're Hispanic, it doesn't include Brazil, French Guiana, Guadalupe, Haiti, Martinique, Saint Bartholomew, Saint Martin, and then if you're Latino, it includes all of those places. And then like, there's like a list of countries and this little thing, that, this little like graphic that I found here, where like you're both Latino and Hispanic. I'm both. <laughs> Not that it really matters actually, but whatever. So you could be like from Argentina, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Costa Rica, Cuba. Then you get it. So yeah, but that's that's just to name a few. Geography. Geography. No, no. Is it? Yeah. Is it really geography? Because Latina, geography. Hispanic is definitely wow. based on what part of the world you are from. So, what's please, the fact? what's the problem? Did you miss something in third grade? <laughs> what's the problem? I was like, geography? You were like, it's not geography. Stop. Uh, like, it's geography. <laughs> please, like, geography is not my thing. Everybody's gonna, okay, guys. Listen to me. You, I'm not stupid. Everybody's gonna think that I'm dumb as fuck. I mean, sometimes I am, but. Yeah, all right. Continue. My fact. Okay, I have a ghost. What? I have a ghost. So I, okay, I'm so serious. I have a ghost in my living room, I'm pretty sure. Because for the longest, my dog, Honey, Tiny Cocker Spaniel, has been barking at the living room. And yeah, anyway, so for the longest, the, do the dog has been barking at the living room and like growling at it and she'll just stop and she just stares at the li at the living room door at night 
And for the long, and like I told my mom about it, my mom was just like, I'm pretty sure it's just cars like passing the street and like all this sort of thing. It's like really not a thing. And I was like, yeah, sure, right, okay, that makes sense. Or it's like her reflection or whatever. But yesterday, right? I'm gonna start adding sound effects into the podcast. <laughs> so yesterday, um, my dog was in my mom's room. And she is like growling. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? And so like I peek into the hallway and she's just like posed in the hallway like this, growling. And I'm like, it's the living room. And I'm like, okay. And she started barking loud as shit at the fucking living room. And I was Did just, your dog also get stabbed in the face? Maybe that's like something. I don't know, maybe it's something. But Not she's bad. kept doing it and then like I For everyone who doesn't know, her dog basically like almost got mauled like a few weeks ago i think we briefly discussed in the first episode did we okay so very that's, briefly that's from, so. but yeah so basically i like picked her up and i placed her in front of like the living room doors and she like cowered and ran away and i was like okay hold on so like i picked her up again and put her back in front of the living room doors and she cowered and she ran away and anyway hit record so i hit record I don't know why it's not recording. <laughs> what is going on? Like, but <clears throat> what's happening? I'm gonna hit record from here. That's. I don't know why it does that. I don't know what happened. You see, you're editing this episode, so it's it's all you, man. Uh, Sam is editing this episode. It's about to be a nightmare. Oh god, it's gonna be a nightmare for him, not for me, because I don't have to edit it. <laughs> why did I ruin it for myself? It'll be fine, but um, they're gonna laugh at us. They're gonna like, why do you guys never have your shit together? I'm like, well, it's because remind me to it's, it's me fix that part for you. Yes, but um, no, essentially, like my dog essentially keeps fucking barking at the living room, like there's a fucking demon in there, and it's funny because my past dog died in my room, and then we put her dead body in the living room because. Like, I didn't want a dead dog in my live in my room next to me as I sleep. So I put her in the living room, and she just laid there for, like, a day. And then, you know, people came and picked her up and, like, cremated her, and that was cool. But um, I really feel like it has something to do with that because it's always the living room. She's always barking Maybe at Maybe the it. dog was just like, you let me sit there for a day. I mean, it was, like, What's midnight. It's just, like, what I'm not about to go. What do you want me to do? Lee, if you're out there, what do you want me to do? Also, my dog did not like Sam. It didn't. It really. Every time I tried to pet it, it was just like, "No, get out of here! I don't <laughs> like you. I don't like your presence. Don't touch me." I was just like, "I don't." Is it me? Like you know, maybe it was my energy at the time. Yeah, I'm going through a lot, and maybe the dog sensed that and was like, "I don't like you or your demonic energy, so I'm gonna go." Probably because I'm homosexual. Yeah, you know. Maybe. Well, well, no, I don't have a homophobic dog, but I mean, it might have been. It might have been. No. I don't think it we was. We are the root of all evil. We have come to destroy the world and burn it in hellfire. So. Right. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But yeah, no. I don't, why is it raining all the time? Because it's New Orleans. It's been like, the weather's been so rainy. I'm like, it's definitely January. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> yeah, no, that's my fact. I have haunted by my dog in my living room. Yeah. And my um, other fact is that I can't seem to get How many facts do you have? When it comes to this recording shit, like, I keep... I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't know why the fucking shit stopped recording. Your trackpad is probably just super sensitive. It really must be. Because I think, like, I, like, jostled it or something. Yeah. And, like, when I was, like, putting my phone... And it just... Yeah, because, like, last time you took your phone off of the trackpad and it stopped recording. But my phone even wasn't even on the... You know what? I don't know what you did. We can always run it back in the footage. We have footage. We you have do. evidence. I'm calling candid camera. I don't know how I feel about that. That's anyway, it. so, so there's a lot of bad shit going on in the news and concerning black people, and I feel like we know we're both black youths, and so we must discuss it because that is our duty. Are you ready for that? Sure. Get yourself together. I'm sorry. Is that a problem? Yeah, let's discuss Would it. Would you like to tell the audience what the problem is? Yeah. Would you like to tell the audience what the, what's the problem? The problem is that. It's annoying and it's depressing and I'm tired of seeing it and even more tired of talking about it because things keep happening and people never learn and they never get their shit together. And I don't understand why it's so hard. I'm like, bro, who raised you? (laughs) Who are your fucking parents? Who raised your parents? I mean, we all know. I kind of feel like it leads back to a certain thing. But you know. 
let's get it together. It's not that hard. It's super simple. And, you know, I was talking to Nicole yesterday about, like, Ghibli movies because she was trying to figure out which one she wanted to watch because she wanted to, like, feel happy. And, like, we were just talking about how it's so funny because, like, usually in Ghibli movies, like, the world will, like, uh, like be about to, like, end. And somehow, like, it all comes together and it all ends great and it's, like, super safe and it's, like, super happy. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, usually what happens, like Howl's Moving Castle, usually what happens is, well, in Howl's Moving Castle, there's a fucking war happening. And it was like killing everybody. And then the person that like started and orchestrated the war was like, you know what? It's just a little ridiculous for me. I'm, let's not do this anymore. Like the war is over. Let's like make amends with everybody. This is stupid. And I'm just waiting for- I would for, like to see it for us. I'm just waiting for- the the white people that are not animated to be like <laughs> to be like you know this is stupid and like really what are we doing here what is the point is there a point there's no point we live on a planet with a finite life we are finite beings you really want to waste your life doing absolutely the fuck nothing but hurt other people. It's just, I'm confused. Mm-hmm. I, I think I have better things to do. I don't know why you don't have better things. You do not have a hobby. Is that what it is? Do you not like do anything for fun? Are you bored? Are you a boring person? Probably. This is my message to all the shitty white people <laughs> and other shitty people. Even if you're not white. If you're shitty, this is for you. A PSA. Stop being fucking shitty. Thank you. No. I think, like, what's so frustrating is, like, the whole, like, Kenosha vigilante, like, the 17-year-old who, like, shot protesters. No, when I heard vigilante, I was, like, super, I was, like, yo, like, Batman? like Yeah, like. (laughs) And then that's what I read, and I was, like, oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, and I was just, like, I saw, like, I think, like, the police chief or somebody, like, do a video. By the way, if you don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about, whoa, this is the context for me, context. It's Jacob Blake and then, like, the Kenosha vigilante. Like, it's the, always some incel-ass tubby, like, nigga. And like, I'm, I'm so confused because I'm just, like, where are, like, the RNC, like, Republicans that be tuned in? Like, do y'all see stuff like that? And they're just like, well, I mean, you know, it was just, like, <clears> the dude, <throat> the, the um guy, the police chief was like, well, I mean, people were just past curfew and, like, you know, that probably wouldn't have happened if, you know... You know, you guys just stay inside. And I was just like, so you mean to tell me that people are outside protesting Black lives being basically reduced to dirt and nothing. And they want to protest because that's like the little they they can think to do. I mean, there's obviously other things that we can do that we'll get into later. But that's like one of the ways that's like all a part of it. We're doing something about it. And you're just like, well, I mean, like if you wouldn't try to do something about the countless deaths that, you know, the black community faces, you, you would just be fine. Nobody would have died. Like, those innocent white people would... Like, it's crazy how, like, it's... white people think that they're not stakeholders and, like, liberations of other people. But you are, because you die, too. Like, one of the victims, I think, was white. Yeah. And I was just like, y'all realize that, like, y'all die, too. Like, you will yeah. die because of white supremacy. It's I'm just, not like, just like, there's just a general injustice in the world everywhere. And it's just weird because every time someone is like, hey, this is like kind of wrong and like, let's try to do something about it. Something happens. It's always this sort of like, well, you just, you know, wrong time and wrong. I'm like, I'm sorry. If I go to go get a pizza at seven o'clock at night and I get fucking like, what is the word? What is the word? I was going to say mobbed. That's not the word. Mugged. If I go get a pizza at 7 p.m., and the pizza place is in an alleyway, and I get mugged. Is it my fault that I got mugged? No, it's the fucking mugger's fault. You get my drift? It's just like- I get your drift. It's so, st- I'm like- We're like in the same lane. I mean, like you know that, I mean, we know we just- Yeah, you're so We just, like you know, forward. have that like static connection. Yes. But anyway, <laughs> um, I think like what it is for me is the, <laughs> we can literally be like, what is it for you? For me, I think it's the... Uh, it's the three rape allegations for me. It's the three rape. <laughs> Yo, that <laughs> fucking video, yeah, I will that shit was it funny. Below. But I think it's the performative activism for me by, like, the athletes. It's just, like, I heard, like, I think, like, like if there was, like, some basketball players that, like, protested 
And they did it for like 12 hours. And I was just like, so after the 12 hours, I guess that means no one else will die because y'all didn't play basketball or whoever the fuck that was. I don't know if it was baseball or basketball. Somebody in the sports realm, some team did that shit. And I just, it's like, do y'all really think that like, if you tell white people to stop killing you, that they will just not? It's kind of like, we have to like, kind of like destroy or like burn down like this whole system and like rebuild a new, better one. And I think people just aren't really ready to do that. You have to give up a lot of things Mm -hmm. in order to see real, real change. And a lot of you are just really stuck on. Are you ready to do that? I think I am. How would you go about it? If I could go about it, I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not like a fucking policymaker. But I mean, like, if somebody was like, you need to give up this, this, and that for change, and I would, I would be okay with that. Like, capitalism, I'd give that up. Like, even though we can enjoy certain things because of it, I would definitely give that shit up. Like, I wouldn't buy from certain, like, if, if there was, like, a real, like, plan that could, like, work to where we could change the whole system and, like, avoid, like, strategically these specific, like, stores. And unfortunately, that doesn't really exist, though, because racism is, like, deeply penetrated or entrenched in, like, everything. But if there was, like, a way to stop supporting certain things and still be able to, like, live in this country, then I would do it. But I think I don't think most people are really ready for that, and a lot of people aren't even ready to like. Well, I don't think that they're ready for it. I think a lot of times people do things that, not discrediting performativeness, but I do think a lot of times people resort to symbolism and things like that because they don't really asking, destroying the system that we have in place is really hard to do because the country was built with a certain. It's just really I don't think. I don't really pay attention. I don't. I don't know. I don't like history that much, so I don't really know a lot of things about you like the history. in and outs of history and like revolutions and she stuff. She likes history. She's cat. I do like history, history, but I don't. Know. I, I don't really like history. I do like history. I do like history. I like reading about it, but I don't study history, so I can't be like, yeah, like in Papua New Guinea, like in 1967, this and this happened. Because I don't fucking know. You don't. Really have to do that though. <clears throat> but no, I think it's important that you do because if it you is, look but... at people dismantling systems, you have to like see if like there was a time where they really wholly dismantled a system, so that you would have an idea of what that would look like. Yeah, that's but maybe, what I think. Studying I don't know history. if that's ever been done before, but maybe it's like. I but I feel like it's been said so many times that if you want to see change, that like what we're doing right now, like this kind of like, oh, you know, we get on here and we're like, yeah, we need to change this, and we like protest for like. I mean, granted, protests have been going on for like a really long time at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn near a month, two months. No, it's months. been longer than that. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> a long time, but at this point, if you want to like think about the whole civil rights movement as a, as a whole, it's been like a really long time. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it in that scope, I'm talking about like what um the Elijah Blake, like what that kind of like st- sparked up. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, like, like the George since, Floyd. Yeah, it's been like a solid maybe three months. I want to say. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like we've been like really protesting for like a little while now and i feel like i don't know if i've ever seen it like that before like was it like this in in the seven oh i was like (laughs) for ferguson was it like that for that yeah ferguson um yeah i think every time we protest we uncover other things that i think what we've been doing is just like this is the problem and then we're like you know, the next time it happens, we're like, this is the problem. But I think also, okay. like, doing some unpacking, this is also the problem. And now we've kind of, like, figured out the whole nine yards of, like, this is... The root of all of the problems is actually, like, this. And so that's why we have to dismantle the system. But back to what I was saying, I just think that, like, a lot of times performative actions happen because people just don't know... Most people are just people, and they don't know how to go about it. So that's why they protest in the streets or that's why they like kneel or that's why they like do sit-ins and like all this other stuff because it's like performative as in it's like a symbol. It's like something that you can see and like watch people do in that sense. But like, I think it's mostly because it's like, well, like what are what are we really supposed to do? You know? I, I feel the same <clears throat> way too, but I also just kind of feel like we have seen so many times that that like doesn't work. And I think, yeah. I think I'm tired of it. I said that I'm tired of it because I feel like, I'm just like, okay, y'all are going to do that. And then now what? I mean, y'all probably can still play like after this. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah, really I mean, matter. they have like, to. There will, they do. But what I'm saying is like, I don't know, like you going to have to do something real drastic to show people like you're really serious about it. And I just kind of feel like, I don't know, like 
<clears throat> I think it's also like, just collective. I think everyone kind of feels the same, but I don't think we're at a stage yet. We're getting closer to it. <clears throat> Maybe. But I don't think where everyone is on, the, everyone is not on the same page because if you want to rebuild the system, it takes, like, it's everyone. not just policy made, po- majors, policy makers who like make that decision. Everyone has to participate in it. Everyone has to like kind of, we would all have to be like, so tomorrow, no more Amazon. And like stuff like that. Yeah. But like forever. Yeah. And I no, I don't think everyone is ready to commit to that. And I'm going to be honest, neither am I because I'm used to capitalism and it is a very hard change. I'm not about to act like, you know, tomorrow I can just... No, we all survive. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm yeah. saying. If there was a way that we could escape that or if yeah. there was like a, some sort of plan that somebody drafted up to where we could like, you know, stop supporting this like in mass or if there was like another company we could support... Which honestly, I don't even know. I mean, I don't even think companies is what we should be supporting. We shouldn't, but it's just if there was something else I could support that would do the same thing without all of like the taking yeah. advantage of the working class, then I do I feel would like... support that. But it's just kind of like I'm just I think I'm not necessarily blaming those people. I'm just kind of tired of that because it's just like okay, where where did we go? You can think of it in terms of like it being incremental changes. Like I can acknowledge that I've never seen like you know athletes take it this serious before i can acknowledge that a little bit you know what i'm saying like i've never seen them really go on a strike i've never seen it maybe they have before but i don't pay attention to sports like that i think like everyone is stuck in general and like okay back to history like in my history class god i'm back in school that's another fucking fact yeah but and i fucking hate it but Okay, I don't hate you that much, but whatever. Cap. like i'm just history. annoyed because it takes away from my time but you know I'm in history class and we're starting the American Revolution, <clears throat> just like separate. But it's interesting because the things that led up to the American Revolution, I always kind of figured it was like, you know, it was Elijah Blake. I'm dead. They're going to be like, do you know what you're talking yeah, about? George Ford. George Ford. George Ford. But yeah. I also said I Eric Garner Ford. last time. Yeah. And I'm, it's yeah. just, it, it just goes to show there's a lot of people that fucking die. Yeah. And that's really yeah. what the problem is. Yeah. <clears throat> but, um, no, in in my American Revolution class, like the things that lead up to the to the American Revolution, I always assumed was just like Boston Tea Party, like the British taxing everybody and that sort of thing. But it's it was a lot. It was a lot of other factors. Look at history class coming through. See, maybe that's why what we you study do, like, history. Maybe what you're learning. So then you really recognize does come things. In handy. Because I think what we're approaching is definitely some sort of revolution, and most revolutions are violent. And I feel yeah, like this one I'm is going scared. to probably a little bit violent, but. Um, that's just what I feel. I don't want that to happen, but I just inevitably tend to boil over and usually people express frustration with violence. I feel like, okay, I don't want to put that into the air, but I'm, I might have to put it into the air because this is a podcast and I say what I feel, but I feel like a race war, like it just feels like it gives race war sometimes because I'm just like, how much more are we expected to really take? Like, I feel like we're dealing with the pandemic, we're dealing with social distancing. So many things are exacerbating other issues during this time. Yeah. We're surrounded by all this death from like celebrities and shit like that. Well, the unemployment rate is high. Maybe less of a race war and more of a race war would just be like black people against white people, but I think it's more so gonna be like the people versus the government. Because, yes, white people are to blame for their individual racism and racist actions and things. But the government is really allowing a lot of things to happen. They have the power to not to like prevent a lot of things. And if we're going to also talk about revolution, then it's like, it's also the wealth gap. It's also the student loans. It's yeah. like a the, no it's those just, TikToks about the student loans and how like you'll pay like what one hundred ten thousand dollars. That girl paid one hundred twenty thousand dollars and she still owes like seventy six thousand. That's just yeah. absolutely ridiculous. That's, she started with eighty, by the way. Yeah. So, so I just think if it's gonna be all of that, then it, everyone's tensions are gonna boil. So it's really probably gonna be like the people versus the government, or like just, just that sort of like uprising. If it's going to happen, which I would hope it really doesn't, but it might have to. But yeah, no, there's a lot of factors that slowly lead up over time to what is a revolution. It just doesn't happen overnight. Like tomorrow we revolt, we ride at dawn. Like that's just not what happens. So I think like the past. I think George Floyd kicked off a period of like introspection, especially because there was a pandemic happening. Everyone's just really been thinking, like, you know what? 
this is fucked up. You know what? This is also fucked up. You know what? This is weird. So I really wonder what it's going to take to really, what is that thing going to be? What does the revolution even look like in in our country? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's not like- we haven't had one. We haven't had in one a minute. in so, so long. The last so one was like 17 something. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, I wonder what that would really look like and like who would, like- It probably is going to be what you said, like, you know, the people versus the government. But it's just, I don't know. Like, do we even, I remember, like, okay, no one likes her. But I remember Azulia Banks was saying, like, you know, the government wants to take our guns away. But, like, nigga, we can't fight the government. Like, they have all the fucking weapons and shit. So, it's like, and I thought that was really interesting when she said that, even though she's often crazy. But No, they definitely have all the weapons. I just wonder how we would fight the government and, like, what that would turn into. Like, would it turn into And the military would be mobile. It would just be a very... Because they Interest. would send the National Guard and we can't fight them. No. Or like we would send, like, they would send whoever no, they would send, send like, the, they, every, um, we have, what, Air Force, Army, Navy, Marines, Coast Guard, yeah. <laughs> firefighters, police officers, like, it's just a lot. So I don't really know what's happening, but I do, there's an episode of Inuyasha where there's, like, this giant ogre nigga and he like he has he puts people in like this giant box garden and they just are stuck in there and like he overlooks them and grabs them like whenever he wants to eat them and stuff and i like kind of feel like that's what's happening a little bit i was looking at my twitter drafts yesterday and one of my drafts was like this is like america is just attack on titan but like the police and the government of the titans he doesn't watch watch the show he doesn't watch anything I failed yeah, all of you. He misses or... everything on us. He's not really a weeb, you know? Okay, no, I resent that. I'm actually a terrible weeb, but... A terrible know. weeb? Yeah, I'm a terrible <laughs> weeb. I, I watch the weirdest anime. Nigga just watch and rent a girlfriend. That's, yeah. that's all it is. It's really good, and you're watching it as well. I, I am. won't be shamed for this. No. I won't be I, shamed. Look, I'm gonna say this it. This is Otaku, jovial me. companionship, and it will stay that way. I won't be shamed. It this will be a safe feels... space. I will... Forced and transactional. But yeah, no, I just do feel like there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen. I'm just like kind of... Over it? Over, I'm it. over it. I'm pretty over it. I don't really... I just would like I feel to... entitled. I'm, gonna not, I'm not going to lie. I feel like, why, why do I even have to fix this shit? Like, I, yeah, I, I feel, feel like, like I shouldn't have too. to feel, fix shit. I feel like I... Shit, I'm like, I just got born. I just was born in 1998. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like I, I feel like white people, y'all need to like low-key fight amongst yourselves and decide hey what are we gonna do but then it's not just the white people though it's also like the black people complicit in capitalism and uh, which is all of us it's it's all of us and it's like everybody who's not ready to make certain changes and i think like it's just so much different stuff to talk to touch on like there's so many different it's such a complex issue with so many like channels it's just kind of like how do we fix it i think everyone is just stumped because it's like We've let this go on for so long that it's kind of like, damn. Like, I mean, can it? It's like fucking. St- Cause it doesn't even just have to do with race. It has to do with homophobia, <clears throat> misogyny. Like it has it's to like do a with... disease that's spread like mostly all over the body, and it's just like what. And also, mm, no, but yeah, yeah, that's just how I feel about yeah. the situation. But more positive, I was watching Agretzko. And you watched the episode with yes, capitalism? I watched the episode with like the capitalism. Agretzko is super good. It's like an animated Netflix original. It's about like this little pan- red panda raccoon girl. Yes. And like she's a OL and she hates her job because they stomp on her shit. And Wait, she- what's an OL? Office lady. Okay. And um, she like cool. goes to karaoke and she like sings death metal to like get her frustrations out. And it's pretty much about how she likes figuring out her life because it knocks her down a lot did you finish no i did not okay but i'm on episode four okay but the symmetry because literally she started becoming like this little manager for like a band or whatever Mm -hmm. and she was doing a really good job and it's interesting because it's like we were talking about how we feel like we've all we've both been doing things and then like we kind of converged into this podcast where we can like practice what we know yeah and like if she's I could also just stop hitting the fucking trackpad but anyway if you could stop hitting the trackpad but <laughs> <laughs> but i it's like cool because i feel like the symmetry like it's like an interesting time for me to, like for that to come out and like me to watch it and like you to watch it because it's like kind of like what we're doing also but i don't know how it ends you said it ends badly so it uh, i wish you watched it because 
the ending is just so unsatisfying. It's like they edge you the entire time when you're just about to reach completion <sighs> and you just don't. They're just like, oh, time. Sorry, time's uh, up. That's our go. time. That's our time. Like in rental girlfriend, it's like, oh, your time's up. I got to go. So uh, it's just time for me to go. <clears throat> no, you know what I'm talking about? I want to talk about, you know how we watched the RNC? Yeah, we watched so the RNC. So I went RNC. back <laughs> and I watched like the one, the clips that I was looking for. And I think it was, her name was like Kim Guilfoy or something like that. And her dad is, um, I think, Irish and her mom is Puerto Rican. So she's like um, <clears throat> like a white Latino. Puerto Rican. Yeah. And then I watched Donald Trump Jr.'s speech. That was insane. And I'm mad that I didn't watch it with you because Donald Trump Jr. literally called um, Joe Biden a swamp monster. <laughs> like, he was like, yeah, no, he's just like, in some ways, he's like the Loch Ness monster. Like, he just hides in his little swamp, doesn't do anything, and then, like, comes out whenever he wants to. And I'm just like, why is everyone actually, like, insane? And I think, like, we were speaking about change, you know, just a little while ago. The RNC is so funny. And it's funny, but it's also it's terrifying. Kind of terrifying because it's kind of like that is also what needs to change. Like I think the RNC those people, needs to change. They like it's people like that. Those people are the ones that are like confusing a lot of white people, a lot of like a lot of people who are like really invested in the It's just a very party. like strange message. It's like very diluted. It's weird because when we were watching the RNC, like I actually kind of ass- I don't know what I thought the RNC was going to be, but I assumed that it was kind of going to be more of what I saw on Fox News, which is just very like sensationalist and like just It it was exactly that. Yeah, and it was, but it's interesting because it, they're not quite that ridiculous. So, oh no! Th- what I watched was ridiculous. Oh no! I bet it was. But I guess what we watched was just sort of like Actually, it was a misguided message, but it had like this premise of like we're we're good people and we're trying. We're just trying to be like American, but like very misguided message. So I think that's I'm like it's very confusing if you don't pay attention to the news and you don't watch like aren't on Twitter and you don't fact check and you, and you don't you fact don't... check and you don't want no, you would really yes. be sold the message because the message is basically like you know. They say that we're a racist country, but we're really not. Yes, there are some people that are not that good, but, you know, we really care about these issues. And, you know, we stand and then you have like a black Republican coming on and like talking about. Well, I've I seen, would say so, it's half and half. It's like, very like have, half truths, myths and half truths. Yes, yes. <laughs> myths and half truths. Um, There's like half of them that are like more, I guess, moderate, moderate. when it comes to things like that. And then there's, like, extremists, like, the people that I watch, like, Gim, or whatever the fuck her name was, and then, like, that Donald Trump Jr. guy, like, he was standing up there with coke eyes talking about something, yeah, because, you know, like, the fucking, like, unemployment rate is the lowest it's ever, like, he built a strong economy, and he acted quickly with the coronavirus, and I'm like, he really did not, he did not. like, and it's just, like, there are so many people at home that watch him every day, and I'm just kind of, like, or watch, like, that family every day and really believe what they're saying. And I'm just kind of like, I get it. Because you really speak to... They're really good at what they do because they just... They speak to... Um, like, what you want to believe about your country. They're really good at appealing to people's emotions and getting them... Yeah. Like, appealing to that passionate it's side like you give the them, country. You yeah. give a little bit of, like... Because mo- it was... It, it's like, you give a little bit of... I don't know. Like And I they think, sprinkle in some big words. Yeah, because and- the, the guy that we watched was saying, like, he was like... Yeah, you know, like, we are, like, you know, Biden is just trying to, like, completely get rid of the police. But we, the Republicans, we want Trump to come in and train the police so that they don't kill people. And it's just a very, like, nice-sounding message if you don't know the extent of right. the problem and why. And you don't know the the history of the police, why the police is created in the yeah, first place. Yeah, exactly. So I think yeah. that's... It, I guess I watched it and I was like, okay, like, I kind of understand why. Because... Yeah, no, I now I get it. Okay, I see why people are Republican and just really don't understand what the problem is with that. So. Yeah, and I'm just like, you could even argue he was a little bit extreme because he literally used his disability to try to get. No, he did. To... He li- bro, his man just what, he what, 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 got the hunter? a walker. What was his name? His name was Madison Cawthorn. Madison Cawthorn. And he got oh, like he literally he was like, I want to stand up for change. Like, got and his he got up with a little got... pigeon toe. Just and like... I was just like, so so to like white people at home who are like very. It speaks to the American. It it really does. And like white people at home who are like, oh, you know, because you know. 
I don't understand. Like, I like Donald Trump and I just like this country. And why are these people just trying to yeah. like kill the country? I don't understand. And like the traditionalist that, values that we have. That's I want who, the jobs to come back to America. And it's just like, bro, you don't understand. First of all, international commerce. We are a globalized situation. Yes. It's just not going to work. It also doesn't make sense to make our own shit. But, you know, I just... Yeah, and, they, and then they constantly label, like, I remember the, um, that Guilfoyle lady, she was like, yeah, because, you know, like, we don't need sex traffickers and drug traffickers in our country if we open the borders. And I was just like... I'm just like, first of all, the president. But it's all, I feel like it's all strategic. Like, she it's, it's gets... It's very strategic. They get the extremists within the Republican Party. They get the moderates. They get the moderates. They get everyone. They check all the boxes. Because it's, it's because the moderates still support him. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, At doesn't. least the, the moderates on the Republican side, they still support him. So it actually doesn't matter. Why are we this, like, political analyst podcast now? Like I don't really doing? know. It's but like... anyways, um, it's like they get the, the, the moderates. They get the extremists. And they also... I mean, people who are, like, just casually voting for Trump and don't really know anything, they'll pay attention pay attention to shit like that anyway yeah so it's like but that's who they're aiming for and so that's like madison was probably more aimed at like the the moderates and like Donald he was Trump aimed Jr. at the young millennial moderates who aren't like burn the black people but they're like yeah i mean i don't really think the police is a problem. my dad's a cop it's so diabolical it's i'm just crazy. like they, they, they actually like and some of them like they skillfully lie not even really skillfully if you know what you're it's just really about. good politics i feel like it's, it's just, just really it's just politics. it's really good like speaking yeah like i'm not even gonna act like i'm not even gonna act like when you listen to them it's not it's entertaining and so because it's entertaining we love entertainment in this country we'll listen to anything that's entertaining so six nine so it's like if you're entertaining and you're saying something that i really really believe in it's like yeah like down with that i love that i fucking love that like no you was like you watched madison cawthorn and you were like no i was like i was really into madison you were like you were like madison like i was like oh look at this man matt and i don't not not just for yeah this is a joke it's so chill okay (laughs) fucking chill but because I forget, this isn't me and him. It's no, like, we're not praising the Republican Party. We're not. It's 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 actually just more. But of the just nigga like a outside looking in, kind of like it's very like I understand. Like I guess watching, I've never seen the RNC. I was just like, I. oh, I didn't know this is what it was. I really thought it was kind of like flaming torches and just like down with the you know. That's just yeah, I mean, fault. I don't know about you, but I feel like both parties are bullshit. They so. are no, and the Democratic Party also appeals to like its audience, and so like it's just kind of like each party is doing what they need to do yeah. to get their it's voters. Just the, the RNC just lies. Yeah, they it's, just it's lie. the evangelical Christians. They lie in a very enticing way mm-hmm. that you just have to know what you're talking about. Yeah. Or you will get sucked in. Like, yeah, to somebody who's very naive, which is actually a lot of America, and like. People who are just only concerned about keeping up the status quo. Like, I'm white. Privilege. I like it here. And nothing happens to me. So, yeah, I don't know what just, everybody's trying to do to upset that. It's 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 just such an interesting country. Like, uh, But that's why I believe that white people need to realize that they are stakeholders in yeah. revolution. Because it affects you, too, whether you realize it or not. So, yeah. Especially because you will probably make black friends. Like, black people are not necessarily slaves anymore i mean maybe in the prison system but like we're not slaves no we have freedom we can do what we want to do as we should and because of that and we live here and so because of that you're going to have to interact with us and you'll probably like some of us if you're not crazy so it's like you will probably because you're a human being hopefully empathize with them and you're not going to want to see them like your friend or your partner, whoever it is, whatever black person, whatever a person of color, marginalized person, you're not going to want to see them go through certain things. And it's just kind of like, we just need you to have a little bit more empathy and realize that like what happens to us affects you because we're all living together. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that's like what I feel like y'all need to reckon with. I'm talking to white people at home um who need to hear this not the white people who know what's going on already also we will be bo- voting for joe biden i assume will you i, I mean i don't know because i don't fucking have my yeah they, that's what i i would say voter suppression and Love i to see it you know what? i might honestly just go to like the voting center but like, cause i don't really care but it's just like I, from home no i will not be <laughs> yeah i mean i'm just gonna go because i don't have time for this yeah so i mean and th- no literally i fucking like sent i well, I applied for like the absentee voting. They sent me a a voter's card. <laughs> yeah, 
I have it's like, do, do you want us to? I don't think you do. No, you don't. Actually, no. Now that you said that, I really do need to check up on that because I definitely sent in like a little, like, you know, I told you I filled out an application online and yeah. they still haven't sent me my voter, my ballot or whatever. And I'm just like, your card. Where is not even a card? I didn't get anything. Yeah, I, no. yeah, yeah, so you just won't be able to vote if you don't get that. I know. So I need to figure mm-hmm. out if I need to just go back to Maryland and vote or vote here. So it's just like, yeah. It's a lot. They don't want us to make change in this country, clearly. And it's just, yeah. I also don't really have high hopes for Joe Biden. I just know that it will be slightly better than Trump, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. I'm going to say that with hope in my heart. And yeah. But yeah, no, the RNC is diabolical and they know what they're doing. And they're very, it's almost like, wow, you guys really, this is really, it's very clearly strategic. Like, I, it's almost kind of like, I feel like, because I'm smart, I know that, I feel like y'all don't even believe what y'all are saying. It's almost like an act. It was like watching a play. And I was like, this is act yeah, it's one, just like you, it's two. just mass, uh, it's like we have to go out here and tell these people certain things so that they will vote for us. I wonder if they hire dramaturgists. I'm like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay, <laughs> this is what we're going to do, see. Get into the character. Get you the are character. You here are... to save America. You are American. You are. American. You know what? I've I've was watching. I like watching. Like I've been watching older movies, and like so, America is still like a thing. Mm-hmm. And so, like you know, you have the flags, and you have like some American. Like you know, back when before Trump, like I'm being American was just kind of like, oh, I'm American, and yeah, you know, to an extent. So I love why I remember I was young. I used to be a Republican because I thought that was the right thing to do. I don't know who ran. Oh, I remember like when that. I was a kid. I was they randomly asked me like, "Oh, are you Democrat or like Republican?" But they didn't really explain. So I was like, "Yeah, I think I'm Republican because I like the horse better." <laughs> yeah, I think I was like, I, I don't it didn't know really why. matter. I was seven, so it didn't no, matter. no, yeah, same. I was young. <laughs> I, I thought I used to think like being that was it. I don't know why I, I thought think that. They I don't know where I got that from. I think like they definitely explained Republican as just sort of like. Um, you don't want government all up in your business, and I think See, I didn't even think about it like that. I just think I thought Republican sounded better. Oh, Republican word. sounded like the Republic. Republic. I like the Democrat. No, I definitely became a Democrat when I was like ten. But like before that, they definitely explained Republic. They kind of were like, "Hey, like you know, there's these two parties in social studies. There's Republicans and there's Democrats, and like this one's a horse and this one's a elephant." And the elephant is, like, for the people. Like, you know, you want, like, government help. You want, like, da-da-da-da. Republicans is, like, you don't want the government all up in your business. You want your privacy. You like your private property. And I was, like, I think I'm Republican because I think that's what, like, I don't want people in my business. So that's, like, that's what I think is. And, like, then in fifth grade, they're, like, trickle-down economics. And they're, like, yeah, like, you know, helping. And, like, and I was just, like, yeah, obviously Republican is just... Not, not it. Not it. Not that, it that's also, wasn't that when uh, Obama got elected? Like when I was two thousand eight. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I I met Mitt Romney. I didn't meet him, but I saw him on TV. <laughs> I met him, and he was saying shit, and Tag was saying shit, and I was like, yeah. So I'm just not there for that. So I was stupid at that point. Well, not stupid. Okay, God, God, Jesus, Sam. Self deprivation. Self deprivation. I was very self deprivation. I didn't self what? Nothing. Okay. Cool. Words. We'll continue. Yeah. All right. All right. So, anyways, um, I I was just like I'm just voting for like I just feel like a black person should be president, and now I'm like totally different because I'm like I don't. You have to like care about. You have to give a shit about marginalized communities for me, and like actually change like what's really wrong with this country <clears throat> to be president. I don't give a fuck if you're black or white or whatever the fuck, as long as you have a plan that it will actually work and will actually free certain people. Then yeah. I'm with it. I don't care who you are. So, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just so funny, actually. But, yeah, no. When I was a kid, I definitely was just like, yeah, America's like, you know, hot dogs and like, we got big things. We got supermarkets. and It's cool. Not and now, like, is it the drastic now change? Now I'm like, this is so bad this for is the earth. So bad for the Bad for the earth, bad for... It's so bad for the really, earth, bro. It's really bad for the earth. It's really bad for the earth. It's really bad. And I feel bad, too, for all the other countries that got sucked into, like, American capitalism because... Yeah. Or people who really... Because that's another thing that they talked about in the RNC is, like, they just keep preaching the American dream. And I'm just like, y'all 
the American dream is literally the American for dream is certain bad. people. It's for a certain rich, wealthy people. That's who it's for. That's not always and, and like, And that's what people don't understand. Like, this country, like, I don't know how it's advertised or how what y'all watch. Bro, about they've it. been advertising the country since the American like revolution. Like yeah. they literally were advertising it. Like at first England was like, "Hey, we can definitely send people over there because um mercantilism." So they were just like, "Hey, like, you know, y'all can work for us and y'all can give the riches to us and we will grow cuz y'all are a colony and that's what colonies do." And then also like we can send people that we don't like anymore like over there and they can like do what they want. And then uh-huh. they were like, "Okay, actually it's like not so cost effective to do that. Our economy is fucking up, so we need our people. So then they started advertising America. This class lessons, right? They start advertising America to like Germans and like Scots and like other people to go live there. And they were like, oh, okay, cool. They've literally been average. And then like once they did that, that's where like the whole like, uh, um, that, that's why America became this place for like if you're religiously persecuted where you live in Europe like you can go to America and they won't persecute you that's literally where that came from you know what's funny that lady who I was talking about she's Irish and Puerto Rican and I was like the history of this country did not treat your people well it like, did not the did Irish not. the Irish like you really don't and like that's like within the white community. So it's just like the fact that you really think that this country does well by everyone or they literally or was right fucking everyone, over it's y'all. Like, it's crazy. I'm like, why are you so far removed from anyways? Puerto Ricans can't even vote. They really can't, huh? No. I really hate that for them. Yeah, no, they can't vote. But they're like our territory though. They are our territory. Uh, just like Hawaii, right? Hawaii is a state. No, I know it's a state, but I'm saying like we kind of don't really Hawaii votes. Do they really? Yeah. Well, everyone, I don't know geography. Sam really doesn't know geography. I don't know geography. Hawaii is a state. It's fifty states. No, everybody's gonna be like. Everyone's gonna be like, so, bro, like you was you, Republican and you was. Are you Republican? Like, <laughs> what's what you, happening? What, what do you know? Sheeple, like what's, Sheeple? what's going on? Do what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I was speaking more to like how like we just kind of fuck over them and like yeah, we, we definitely really fucked treat... over Hawaii. It was definitely a. It, I don't even know why it's a fucking. St- I remember. I kind of remember why it's a state, but it's definitely like so far away. It's just like people like you because I wouldn't Hawaii. be surprised if they took away like their right to vote because they just we just like kind of fuck over them and like they don't really belong yeah, like, in the United they're States. Not like, they in should the, be their they're own a Polynesian nation. country. Yeah, and I hate that. For or them. islands is what they were. So I'm just kind of like, I don't know why we even, it's like, what? Why? This episode should be like, Sam is stupid. And we. This episode's going to be myths and half-truths. Myths and half-truths. That's the episode. Also, does Sam know geography? Also, no. does he know? He still doesn't know it. We're no. going to make merch and the geography is definitely going to like have to be something that we. Why have. somebody like, if this ever like. I'm just going to make. Somebody's going to send me a glow and be like, so study this. And I'm be like. I think I'm going to, I'm going to like put, I'm just going to like do like the shape of Italy and just title it Spain or something. No, remember how like, <laughs> I remember we like got a map and I was like, can you like tell me what this state is? And you like could tell what the state's going. I was like, I don't know what's, I don't know. I didn't know, what? <laughs> I didn't know the shape. I don't remember that. That's crazy. <laughs> I did not That's know crazy. the shape. Yo. I did not know. Him. I did not. I'm not the only one that knows geography. <laughs> you're not the only one, but you're like one of the few. You know what it is, too? Revolution, we need people who know geography. So we should all learn it. Geography and history, let's do it. Yeah, <clears throat> geography and history. Maybe mad about what's happening in Utah if you don't know where it is, you know? I I feel dragged, kind of. You know, know where it is, is, right? Hey, guys. This is brought to you by our sponsor. No Child Left Behind. Map Quest. I was left behind. It's brought you to you by Map Quest. Behind. <laughs> Don't leave children behind. Google Maps. <laughs> Google Maps. But anyway. Oh my god. No. So <clears throat> we're making a key lime pie today. I'm super excited for that. I'm also excited for that. Also, rest in peace to um Chadwick Bozeman. Yes. Um yeah. also when are y'all gonna stop saying like be nice to people when they're here? Y'all don't mean that. No. At all. Just let it go. Yeah, like yeah. just just say you're sad and just move the fuck on. Somebody was like, that's the last words that he wrote. I was like, okay, hold the fuck up. No the fuck it's not. Like it's not. Y'all need to chill with the performance. I do feel like I do feel like it was fucked up that like he was going through that. And like, <clears throat> no, oh, it was definitely like fucked up. Crack. And I was like, uh, it was really fucked up. I think, but y'all don't care. Everybody, you know, y'all really don't. It's like you will say what you want. Watch that episode. I'm gonna talk about it later. The but... you talking about the tie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
But I'm like, y'all need to give it up, please. No. Please. I'm saying is all like of a, these messages the hive online. mentality is just absolutely ridiculous. I'm like, people were, some people were just like, man, that's just so fun. I'm like, y'all was probably one of the ones. Exactly. I honestly feel like a lot of the times it's just for like retweets. And I'm just like, it is. It's, it's for just, clout. It's do for you retweets. you even care about this man's movies like that? It's for wow. I never thought this tweet would go viral. Check out my photography. I'm just like, <clears throat> what? No, I saw some nigga online and he was like, yeah, because you know. Yeah, he dying, that's sad, whatever, but like, you know, a nigga not about to go get his prostate checked, that's sus. And I was like, oh my God, we're never what? going to get free. People are so committed to being stupid, I Look, can't. and this is why. I also just said that while not knowing a lot of things just now, but yeah. Like a prostate? You know mm-hmm. what that is, right? I know what a prostate is. Okay, cool. I know what that is. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'm talking about, you know, how for like the first half of the podcast. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. What is- I feel like... Like sixty four percent of the podcast, you just—I just did not <laughs> know. Just I was like, know. "Oh, really? They vote?" I would not be surprised. <clears throat> but I feel like I said that. You know, Arizona doesn't vote, though, right? Why not? They do. Do they really? Why are you gullible, y'all? I, listen, <laughs> listen. I believe it. I just believe anything bad that happens to like any state that gets fucked over, any people that like don't deserve it gets fucked, getting fucked. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I'm going. I believe to, victims. Um, I'm going to the Ozarks. And then soonish, I want to say, mm-hmm. maybe. Um, I'm going to Arkansas. I've never been to Arkansas. I'm like really excited to go to Arkansas. And but you know, I definitely when I was looking, do they at, vote there? I don't know. They may not. Look it up. Okay. You know where it is, even. It's like near the other. You know, it's near Pennsylvania, Kanza. right? Kansas. Mm-hmm. Oh mm-hmm. my yo. <laughs> Kanza. <laughs> the other Kanza. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's not looking good for me this time. <clears throat> I need yeah, to call no. my publicist. I need to do. Like, you need some, to call somebody. I need to do. I need to do some um something that makes me call look Quizlet. Really... You, need, you need to. Yeah. I'm gonna make you flashcards, bro. Yeah. But um. Also, side note, I really hope this doesn't echo because I feel like I've been like. I think it'll be fine. Oh, have you? You just been. <sighs> I'm over it. It's okay. <clears throat> Audio is hard. It is hard. It's just a lot of work, and it's a it's learning. So, well, I've curve. gotten through basically everything I wanted. So, oh, what did you, you got going on? Thank you for cut, cutting me off. Yeah, I Thank wanted you. to. Thank you, know, you for I just that. Feel like you know, you know, you're not really saying much of anything, it's so really, I just wanted to go ahead. There's just and a start. communication issue. It like, really is. Um, and it's it's me, right? It's you. It is me. Yeah. Yes. I feel like I need to work <clears> on that. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Totally. Okay. This is uh, why we get each other. This is no, we really don't. We don't because we I guess a, because of the communication. Because of the communication issue. Okay, cool. we would if we yeah. didn't have that. Yeah, but I want a divorce. But um, same. Yeah, it's been cool. on my mind for a while now. But don't really. But um, so you <laughs> so, so what's going on here? No, like, I completely forgot what I was stalling because I you, forgot what I wanted to say. I really hate you. Oh my god! Did no. you say? So the Ozarks. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. Going to the Ozarks soonish, but I guess like I do. For, I don't know. I was always thinking about I want to do like a road trip to go see all of the fifty states, just because you know there's a lot of them. But I definitely forget that I'm just like, it, you know, I don't know. It's just like I was looking at Arkansas and there's like towns, and I was just like, all oh, these towns look cute, and I was like. I wonder if they're like racist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this must be just the racism episode. The I things you so. have to think about, like, is this? A I guess you just town? have to think about certain things. I'm like, I'm fine going to like Memphis and shit like that, like st- like cities. But like, I'm just like, you know, if we're going to like small towns passing through. I'm just, but like, you won't. Will you have to worry about that? No, I don't really think so. It's just kind of like interesting because it's like I guess it's always just kind of like well, because a lot of times things happen and it's like. Yeah, you know, something went down in, like, Little Creek Rock, Kansas. And I'm like, see, I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah. You know, it's just, like, the small town. It's the small towns that Did have- you just kind of, like, improvise, like, Little Rock? Yes. Into Little Creek Rock? Yeah, I did the other kanza, though, not the R kanza, so. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I thought that was I pretty- I hate this uh, show. Anyways. Pretty clever for me. But... Yeah, it's pretty clever. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, mm-hmm. I get my vitamins when my brain works fast. It just neurons just zipping and zapping. You know, I really zapping. don't eat enough vitamins. I probably should. Really? No, I don't. You probably should. You need a fruit. I do need I a fruit. I never see fruit in your house. 
You need a fruit. This fruit. Really? Yeah. What is it? So continue anyways, what were you saying? No, what's the fruit? Um, I just, I don't understand the question. Apple granola bars don't count. Neither does apple juice. Neither does clementine peach. That shit is good, by the way. It is good, isn't it? That's really good. But you want some. Yeah. I hope you don't spill it, though. Helpful. Ah, anyway. (laughs) Yeah, but no. um... No, the the inside joke is, for everyone who doesn't know what we're talking about, um, one time she went to my house and she got some apple juice. It was last week. It It wasn't last week. Yeah, it was. Okay, I really don't be knowing what time it is now nowadays. But anyways, she came to my house like a week ago, and I gave her some apple juice, and she went to her house and she just spilled it all over the floor. So I did. And she was very excited. She no, was like, oh, I really I was. It's the little house. Mops apple juices. There's so, there's something in them, man. Sugar, but it's like really good. Yeah, sugar. <laughs> and you don't have that. I don't. You don't. Eat I don't sugar. have juice in my house. It's like a rare treat. Yeah. I had lemonade for a second, but they definitely drank all of it. So did I. It wasn't even that sweet either. (laughs) No, it wasn't. It was good. So. But yeah, no. Racism in sundown towns. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun, right? I'm going with like like a white person though, so I feel like I'm good. That and the ambiguousness. Yeah, I was going to say that. You're definitely probably a little bit, you're probably racially ambiguous enough to where it wouldn't really, still doesn't really. Doesn't feel good though. Feel good though. No, it does not. (laughs) It's like, I mean. uh, Actually, this would be a good time to ask, what do you get mistaken for like um, I got. I get. I guess it depends Mexican. on where I am. Like I know Hispanic I a lot. That. Hispanic a lot. Yeah. His, Puerto Rican, Mexican, uh, Brazilian. I think it's because of your tan. Yeah, my tan skin. Anyway, anyway, so wow. <clears throat> the tan. You're like brownish. Not really though. Anyway. You tried to convince me. I'm still dead that you tried, tried to convince me you were brown skin. And I was like... Mm. I'm brown. It's a shade of brown. Mm. It's a shade of... Br- we're not doing this. It's a shade mm. of brown. Anyway, so... But yeah. I will kick you. But... Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, no. Brazilian. Anything like Latina and then um, Filipino, Indian once. <clears throat> um, I don't see Indian. Tibetan. I see Filipino though. Well, there's a lot of light skinned Indians. Yeah, I know. So, Tibet. Well, I was in India. Sure. So, Tibetan. Okay, yeah, I understand it now. Yeah. yeah. Tibetan, Filipino. Yeah. Oh my God, you're just such a Blasian Barbie. I can't. Like, you're just so, like, <clears throat> light, bright, and all the way right. I love it. Not light, bright, and all the way right. <laughs> 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 but anyways it's so, weird I mean yeah I'm done I'm so. done as well I think um, we're doing two episodes because I am leaving out yeah. of town so you guys get double the content okay no it's but not really because be... it comes out in the week that it comes out yeah. so you know we actually didn't have to tell you that but um, we didn't have to actually Look, Why did we do that? I don't know. We have a thing of over explaining. Like right we, now. Let's stop. Over exp- it's the whole we got rabbit the hole. hole. Please. Um, okay. no. Thank you for watching this episode. As always, like, share, share. And subscribe. Please share. share. Please. Please. Sharing Please. is caring. We believe in life. Love. Share. Da, 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 da. So yes. yes. So care and share if you care. And uh subscribe. Subscribe. And, you know, as always, Comment, you can- like. Shut the fuck up. So it's always, <laughs> it's always you can go to our Instagram, check us out for updates. Personal Instagrams are linked down below. Everything's linked down below. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you. Bye. Bye.